Now the name Adam, uh, it means man. And that's not hard to understand. Adam is, is, is man. The next one there is Seth. And the name Seth means appointed. The appointed one. After Seth comes, comes Enos. And Enos means mortal. Mortal. And after Enos, uh, Enos comes uh, uh, Canaan. And that, means, that name means sorrow. If you, the way you get the definition of these names is you look up the, the root words that the names come from. Then, a, then after him comes Mahaliel, and that means the blessed God. The blessed God. You, see, you almost see uh, uh, hallelujah in, in, in that name. Then after him comes Jared, and Jared means um, shall, it's going to come down. After Jared is Enoch, and Enoch, the seventh from Adam, his name means teacher or teaching. Then after him is Methuselah, and Methuselah means his death. Methu is Hebrew for death. His death. Silah means to come, so his death shall bring. After Methuselah is, 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 is Lamech, and Lamech means the despairing one, despair. You see the word lamentation and lament in his name. And then Noah means to rest or be comforted. Now that's the meaning of the names of these guys. Those guys are, are in the Bible because that's their birth order. That's how their parents named them. That's the way they are. They're listed there. But when you look at that, you say, what have you got? Isn't that interesting? Man, who is appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing rest. You want to do that again? Man is appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring despairing, the despairing rest. Now you tell me something. There isn't any way under God's heaven or in your wildest hallucination that when Moses wrote that down, he had any idea what he was writing down. He was just writing down a bunch of names. There's, not, there's no Jewish rabbi in some cloistered monastery somewhere or in some back room writing those names down that had any idea what was going on there. But when you read the meaning of those names, you know what you're reading? You're reading a message that God himself had kept secret until he revealed it to the Apostle Paul. And yet you're reading the fact that God had it in mind all along. The only explanation for that kind of thing in the Bible over and over and over and over, these macrotypes, these, these types, these prototypes, these messages in God's Word, the only explanation for that is that when they were written, they were written by someone who did not, who was not bound by the constraints of time and circumstances like human authors are. It's someone beyond the time-space continuum that you and I live in. It was God himself. And God has fixed this book so that wherever you look, you find the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you find the Lord Jesus Christ, what you find is that God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Someone said, you cut the Bible and it bleeds, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the wisdom of God in a mystery. You want a you code that will unlock the mysteries of life for you? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll find it. Jesus said, search the scriptures for they are they that testify of me. That's where you'll find eternal life.
That's why you'll find truth. That's why you'll find the ultimate basis of reality. Because reality is bigger than the time and space continuum you live in, and God's Word is the expression. Jesus said, Thy Word is truth. That's more than just saying it's right all the time. It's that without question, but it's the ultimate basis of all reality and life. And God gives you that life in His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you trust Him, He is the Word of God. God will save you, give you life that lives in you victoriously for His glory. Till we meet again at the same time next week. Maranatha. The message of grace is brought to you by Christian people who believe the Bible to be the Word of God and who appreciate its power and authority. Within the pages of the Bible itself, there's a God-given design for its study. Rightly divided, the Word of Truth is the key to understanding the Bible.